Hello there guys, welcome back to another video here on National Vlogs. Um, today's video is we've had, in a way, a sort of a proper announcement from Legoland Windsor Resort. And that announcement is that their resident pirate stunt show will be returning for 2020. Now, just a bit of backstory. Uh, on the pirate show at Legoland Windsor. Uh, it was first introduced back in 2010 and it was known as Pirates of Skeleton Bay. So back in 2010 when the pirate show was first um, introduced, uh, the whole Harbour Arena back then when it was, I do believe, uh, in an area called Lego City, correct me if, if I'm wrong, no, sorry, it was actually in an area called Pirate Shores, or um, Pirate's Landing, I can't remember, someone will correct me if I'm wrong. But back then, the lighthouse had some pretty good theming. It was in a colour scheme of black and white, with a skull and crossbones slap bang in the middle, and it looked like a really good show. Um, and the original version of the show was, from what I've seen, pretty decent. Uh, however, it didn't feature jet skis like it did, or like it does nowadays. Uh, the show was then reinvented for 2011 with an updated storyline and new characters. And this updated storyline from 2011 remained in use for quite a few years. And then in 2014, uh, the show got updated not in a storyline sort of way but it had some additional effects these included a what i call a water soaker which was like a round ring in a corner of the water near the audience and it would explode and it would soak people which is actually a pretty good effect and it's still in use now but it's been relocated uh, and it also had the f new one of the best effects in the show nowadays is the fireball effect which is used towards the end and it's absolutely brilliant and I absolutely love that. Uh, and then 2015 uh, the show was given some sort of major-ish changes. The whole harbour area was uh, repainted and had some new structure work done because of course uh, that area became part of a new area which is now called um, Heart Lake City. Now although the show remained the same in 2015 people were starting to well enthusiasts and also members of the public who had been going for many years were saying that the poet show was now starting to get outdated and of course it was in a way getting overshadowed by the Lego Friends show which was introduced in May of 2015. Now don't get me wrong, I do like the colour scheme that the lighthouse is in, however it is it has now started fading and they have had to do a lot over the past few years. Uh, 2016 was the final year of uh, what was at the time the current pirate show storyline because in 2017 SGA Productions who had brought the show to life all the way back in 2010 came up with a new show which still featured some of the favourite characters on that show called Return to Skeleton Bay which had the introduction of three new characters and yeah that was in 2017 which of course saw many changes come not just to the show but also to the harbour itself. So when Return to Skeleton Bay was introduced in 2017, the characters that remained from the previous show had all new costumes. That The whole show went under a complete redesign, new music, new costumes, new uh, stunt sequences and of course the Lego Friends show was still taking place and one of the 
spectacular things about Return to Skeleton Bay in 2017 was something called a Russian Swing, which is normally used in circus acts. However, halfway through the season, a tragic incident happened involving a Russian Swing, which led one of the performers to be seriously injured after being launched up like normal, but he, and some, he hit something and he ended up uh, injuring himself very, very badly, which then led to the show being cancelled for a few weeks uh, before a new temporary updated version came in. 2018, it, although the story remained the same, it had some additions, uh, and 2018 was the year that uh, the show started to see many changes come to life. 2018 um, saw the water barrel effect, which was put in in 2014, the little ring circle I was on about. That was now placed on the stage. So the Silk Zone sort of doesn't make much sense nowadays, really. And yeah. And then come 2019. Uh, 2019 and up to current day, uh, Return to Skeleton Bay is the only show on the harbour, on the actual harbour stage now, because um, Lego Friends shows have now moved to a very, very, very temporary set up stage right in the corner just right technically it's just around the corner from the uh harbor itself uh which is a shame you know i think it suited it better on that stage but sorry about the brief history i had to get the history out so you know why uh what i'm about to say is happening so 2020 legoland windsor have announced obviously that return to skeleton bay is returning for 2020 which means we've had a whole decade of pirate shows now I'm gonna be honest I've and I think quite a few people have been honest as well is that the pirate shows do need to come to an end at Legoland Windsor it's been there now for over it's been there for a whole decade it's gone through many changes at least I'm happy that at least they've updated it now every year but I do think the pirate shows do need to come to an end if anything I think this year may be the final year of the pirate shows I think if Legoland if you're watching I'll be honest you've dragged the pirate show on long enough 10 years a decade is long enough it's time uh, for the pirate shows to be replaced next season um, I don't know what they would rebrand it to uh, I, there used to be a Lego Ninjago show on park and I don't think there's a Ninjago show there anymore so if anything I think maybe a Lego Ninjago show maybe on the Harbour Arena to replace it but yeah uh, I just thought I'd say that Return to Skeleton Bay has been announced to be coming back uh, the show times is now on the website as well uh, so it, it's performed three times a day every day at 12 2 and 4 however it's performed again also at 3 p.m. on weekends and peak periods as well but yeah thank you very much for watching guys sorry it's a very long video i didn't actually want to make it this long but i ended up making it this long so deal with it all right anyway uh thanks very much for watching if you enjoyed it like comment and subscribe and tell me guys what do you, what are your opinions on the pirate show at legoland windsor returning for its 10th year now um Obviously, quite recently, Legoland Florida has announced that their pirate stunt show is going at halfway through this season. So, could we maybe be seeing Legoland Windsor do the same for next year? Could we see the show going at the start of the season? 
Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.